basic lessons about drawing with Sketch by Step. We're going to go over three things today. How you look at the drawings in Sketch by Step that we present and how to size them for your board. And how do you use relative space when you're looking at a drawing as it's being drawn and be able to position the different pieces by just seeing how they relate to each other in that space. So are they next to each other? Are they far away? And then thirdly, adding all the details so that you end up with a picture, uh, but not too many details so that it slows you down. So just the right amount of detail. And today's example is going to be a kite. So let's get started. So first off, uh, for the size of your image, all the pictures that we've drawn in Sketch by Step start out with the very first lines that will set the size and position of your image. So when you're playing it back and you hit the play button, you'll notice what's being drawn first is setting the size of your image. In this case, for a kite, the crossbars of the kite set how it's going to orient itself and how big the kite is. So we're going to use as much space of the whiteboard as possible so people can see it from far away and there'll be enough room to add notes inside the drawing so that you can chunk the information together. So when people think of a kite, they'll remember the words that you put inside the kite. So to start with, the cross piece is at an angle and the angle, the two ends of the line, are going to be in the corners of your board. So you can use your board to decide how big a kite you're going to have. I think I'm going to have it right about here. So here's my cross brace, right? And now perpendicular to this line is the longer line for the kite. So what you do is you cut this line in half and that's where your point's going to be. Here, so here's the tip of my kite and I'm going to go down to about there. Notice I left room, I'm not right up against the edge of the board because I need room to draw. So now it's very simple, you connect the endpoints. So here I connect the tip to that end, I connect the tip to this end, then I go down and do the same thing to the bottom of the kite, and now we're ready for the tail. And the tail is essentially an, uh, kind of a curvy S. And you make it almost as high and as long as your kite. Now, to decorate your tail, you're going to put on the ribbons. And those are simply more little triangles. So you draw a triangle on one side, and you mirror it on the other side. And you fill in your triangles, whichever way you like to do, just so they match. They look like little bow ties. And you do a number of these down your kite and you stop just before you hit the end. And now you have the kite and it has filled up your board. There's room to write in the different components of the kite and you have additional little pieces that you can write next to to add more illustration to what you're talking about. So to go over this again, one size, we decided the size of our image by using the first two lines and what position it was going to sit. Then we use relative space, like the endpoints here, saying, oh, we just need to connect these lines. So the relationship to the first two lines helped us find the rest of the shape. And this is an S with little triangles in it and how they're spaced out along that line. So the details were lines, straight lines actually, curved line, and triangles. And then that all comes together to look like a kite. So as you're using these sketch by step drawings, look for those anchoring lines, look for patterns and how it connects together, and Pay attention to the details so that you can kind of get that positioned in your visual mind how it goes and then your hand as you practice will get the motion and remember, oh yeah, that's where I'm, I'm starting. Triangles, I've got this. I can do triangles. So it's easier than you think. 